Howdy, 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 my beautiful Pisces. How are you doing today, darling? Let's get into your weekly tarot reading, Pisces, for September and see what's going to be happening for you, what predictions we can make, all right? So when it comes to consuming your tarot readings on YouTube, Pisces, be sure to check out your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus sign, not just your one zodiac sign, all right? In the top right-hand uh, corner here, darling, Pisces, I'll leave a link to my monthly pick-a-card tarot reading for September. You might enjoy it. Let me know in the comments below how this resonates, and let's begin your reading here with the oh, girl with the nine of cups if i can get a hold of this card here for you uh <laughs> the energy is strong for y'all's reading your pisces nine of cups all right by definition the nine of cups pisces represents a wish being granted for you a certain type of accomplishment that you've been really hoping for is coming so this is like in a sense pisces where it's like you might be having the question of being like oh am i going to pass like this really important test am i going to graduate am i going to get this job right whatever that type of you're hoping for a specific result and you're it's in the unknown yet that's what you and that's why you have like this treasure chest here pisces so it's like you don't know what is inside of here until you open it so it's like you're receiving some type of message that you don't know what it, how it's going to initially turn out and it's extremely positive and you're celebrating it here what type of message are you waiting to hear back from or what result are you hoping for because i see this is like a sense of where you wanting it, it sets you up for your future it's like a stepping stone accomplishment for you hierophant energy it's known as the card of marriage some of you uh pisces are might be talking to someone that and down the road all right down the road it's not today so don't be thinking that my ro hopeless romantics right sometime down the road someone that you're engaging with could, in a romantic way could be proposing to you but also removing the romance pisces because not everything's about love right someone that you're talking to currently while you may not know where it's going to go it seems to be really positive here so it's like maybe you're starting to talk to someone and they become like your new lifelong best friend for example right so really really positive here let's do another card page of cups here yes so this is a direct message of where it's like new energies entering your life new opportunities new people uh here pisces all right so wow y'all's reading is insane here i can tell the rest of this reading we're going to be unpacking some major details so if you're trying to figure out like what all it is and how you can um get all claim all of this pisces stay around here don't right so page of cups here all right be paying attention to your social circles here all right socially it feels as if someone's going is in your vicinity here pisces that as i said beforehand could be really setting you up for your future of like another lifelong connection for you all right now going into objectives here i feel like you're going to be receiving some really positive news pages represents new energy really reinforcing the sense of like getting that job your application being accepted there uh pisces and it sets you up hierophant energy for the long term there for your main accomplishments all right so let's start looking into this page of cups energy all right let's see what all we can acknowledge with this because i feel like this is like such a breath of fresh air for you that's the words that come to my mind pisces is like breath of fresh air because three of swords energy is like you've been going through it you I feel like every single day it's like a battle that no one else is seeing because for some reason I'm being shown like a scenario of where it's like you are like sitting on the side of your bed and you're just like taking a breather. Maybe this is you watching this video as like a breather and then calming your nerves, wiping away the tears and then you go out and then you're just like smiling again. So it's like you've been really keeping a strong front. Some of you might even be exploring i get like this message of exploring maybe it's like because of like this internal struggle that you've been going through that no one else is privy to you've been looking towards like more magical endeavors maybe exploring different uh pantheons or something if you haven't considered it i would be saying be anticipating some type of spiritual guide stepping forward to you in the coming days uh pisces i feel like that's what's going to that new spiritual guide is going to be what helps uh yeah page of pentacles some type of spiritual force is going to be what helps bring forth your desires into the physical here uh pisces i don't know why i usually don't project this type of message when it comes to your spiritual practices and all that because it's not my business what you believe or practice in but i do feel like for you pisces it's like some type of spiritual influence there's like your energy in the coming days is very spiritually charged where it's like the positive news that you receive your spiritual team is a part of it where it's like you put in an application somewhere and then you start doing research and being like how can i like what ritual can i do to help with the approval process 
right that's what i feel king of swords energy and then afterwards i'm just drawing from the back of the deck here by the way um king of swords with the page girl the page of wands energy <laughs> now i hold them both upside down page of wands energy <laughs> i do read reversals pisces but it's all intuitive i don't feel like y'all need to see the artwork upside down to understand if a message is upside down or not right if something's in reverse it holds no meaning so pisces for you definitely new energies coming in i will be saying here if you've been looking for like trying to catch a break or make a breakthrough right maybe you're looking for like a breakthrough make it like having like your work be seen all right you just need to be noticed you just need that one right eye to help you get through the door and you'll take it the rest of the way all right i do feel like with this king of swords energy this is a court card could be talk it could be in in a one sense uh pisces for you someone that you talk to in the coming days as i was saying earlier for you i feel like it was important for you to uh, entertain potential connections because it's like a stepping stone that i referenced with this hierophant energy um it could be in the sense of where's someone that you know someone that you connect to really bringing forth the opportunity all right uh, I also want to be expressing this here, Pisces, where it's like, again, I feel like some type of spiritual force is guiding you. Maybe you're debating on doing some type of spiritual practice or doing something that helps like doing a spiritual business of your own, Pisces, because I do feel like I'm talking to like some spiritual people, like to other tarot readers or spiritual practitioners, witches and what have you. All right. Be paying, be paying attention to uh, spiritual signs. All right. Be paying attention to people because I feel like spirits going to be working through people to help you get through the door. Because I do feel as if it's like, I don't know why Pisces, but I'm being shown like you sitting at eating at a cafe, sh uh, sharing like a bar, uh, like sitting at the bar at a cafe and someone sits next to you and you make a nice conversation for an hour and you're getting ready to go to the bank to ask for a loan. And little do you know that the person that you're sitting next to for an hour eating at lunch is uh, the person that's going to, that you were going to at the bank to get that loan, right? And so it obviously increases your chances because they like you because from the conversation, what have you, that's the scenario that I get where it's just like oh, by little chance, like what are the odds type of thing? That's what I get with this is like, what are the odds that uh, someone like you that, you know, like me talking to you just random, like, it's just, that's how I get that energy as I don't want to like explain it further. Right. So that's how I want you to be paying attention to social connections in the day, coming days. Because ask yourself, like, where has my spiritual team been trying to guide me? Or where has my spiritual team tried to help me through other people? Because I feel like they're actually trying to reach out to you through other human interactions. All right. So Oracle cards now for you, Pisces. Boar, face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victorious, taking time to recuperate rather than continue your striving here, Pisces. It's kind of funny you get both of these cards because I feel like they're the very opposite of one another. One of them you're taking a moment to rest and another one you're going forward with the problems here. I feel like what actually this is, Pisces, is you need to take a moment to reset. Not necessarily reset your approach or what it is that you're doing, um, Pisces but you need to take a moment to just like mentally reset because I feel as if you're like drowning yourself in numbers or drowning yourself in like specific details that you normally wouldn't be so hung up on uh if you were to just like reset and I feel like if you just continue trying to bang your head against a brick wall you're just going to be dealt with more resistances so it's like I think it's important for you to take a moment to just breathe maybe go like I'm being shown nature right now maybe it's important for you to connect to nature get out of your head here yeah that's what it is Pisces it's like you might be getting too lost on specific details or like frustrating yourself because you're not getting specific results that you're wanting things are not working out in a specific way and your response to that is working harder trying harder sending multiple text messages to that situation that you know is not working out your your response is to continue pushing forward rather than taking a moment to just pause get your mindset right take a moment to just reset emotionally for a weekend and then go back at it because i see once you finally like take a moment to just reset from that nine of swords energy 
then the chariot energy comes forward in response for you uh pisces and then that's when you will emerge victorious with this boar card it's not necessarily that you need to give up on a project or to give up on taking action on certain things i feel like it's just important for you to get out, take a moment to just get out of your head all right maybe inspiration comes during that break or just really in the moment just like you know just as well once you figure this out and just take care of this then doors can start opening up for you again all right eight of swords energy as well in the back of the deck y'all are being overly critical about yourself currently all right so you need to break that you need to break that routine you need to break that pattern in your in yourself before moving continuing moving forward because I don't know why like i'm trying to find like a word you might notice pisces uh, well granted i'm not a very good speaker anyways but you might notice i'm trying to like find a word to explain like why you need to take that break but there's like there's no words to this and i know that sounds really dramatic and but for someone like me who's overtly long-winded like i can't find like a word for it there's like there's no explanation for it that's how i know it's very spiritually charged here pisces it's like not allowing me to tap into your personal energy with that where it's like we don't need to know the reason behind it just trust in it and do it and then it'll make sense after right you don't go into meditation with the expectation to already know what you're going to have your breakthrough where it's going to look like you know da, 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 da. you don't know the details you don't go into meditation with the expectation of that breakthrough you just go into meditation and open to the possibility does that make sense Pisces ace of cups coming in here new love coming in all right so really ultimately what I will say with this four of wands afterwards and then the world card coming in and then after I'm as you can see I think you can see uh back of the deck energy it's not as if I'm like pulling these cards or anything Pisces all right um quite literally for you I see strong, 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 strong love energy here. I wanted to say soulmate, so I guess I'll like stop resisting it because my own personal bias, I don't like saying soulmate. I feel like it's overused. But with that four of wands there, strong soulmate energy, strong significance towards social connections that you make in the coming days, Pisces. Spirit is working through them. All right. So you have to be able to be more accessible here, entertain connections that you normally want to entertain here with this world energy coming in here. I see this sense of for you where it's like maybe you've been turned off towards love, maybe you've been turned off towards taking chances, Pisces, because you've been just in a period of where it's like your hermit period, your shadow period, whatever you want to call it. Right. Your self-development period time to let that go and accept that you're going into a new phase in your life here all right just because what happened in the past you have heartbreaks in the past like you know whatever whatever like you don't need to change anything pisces you just need to take a moment to reset re you know cleanse yourself and then go back to you know go back to your situation and then i feel like with these brand new eyes you'll be way receptive to what spirit is trying to show to you who spirit is trying to show you to who spirit's trying to guide you to where you like where the opportunity actually is for you pisces all right i'm going to keep this reading short honestly because i don't feel like there's really much else for me to be saying here there's a lot of impactful energy here ultimately and just like a lot of beautiful things that are waiting to manifest to create for you you just have to like i feel like it's just like getting into spiritual align like getting back into alignment with uh your spiritual team spiritual energies all right you have dream thief refusal of the call hello refusal of the call not y'all getting called out pisces you're refusing the call that spirit's trying to connect to you with here Ooh, darling all right so repairing the veil two cards all right this card says forgiveness repairing the veil but two cards here repairing the veil you know how people reference to the spiritual world or sometimes be like you know like three o'clock is when the veil is the thinnest between the physical world and the other side the ethereal right the etheric so it's like repairing the veil uh refusing the call the spiritual like there's something that y'all need to do spiritually to re realign and once you get back into alignment you'll notice the resistance is just going away these two cards are you can't have better cards to uh, summarize that odd message i was getting right and it's a completely out there message i never say either so it's like mm, that's powerful stuff pisces tender embrace 
again, I see this in two ways, Pisces. It could either be in terms of socially, which I feel like in general is socially for all of you guys, but it could be love for some of you. Definitely some type of spirits trying to connect to you with somebody of importance for to and for your life in some way. But also I see this as a way of tender embrace, you know, elephants like they remember for life, right? And they get really old. And so go along with this here, Pisces. But I see like this sense of like the age and the wisdom with this here. It's like you getting in connection with your higher self, you getting in connection with your ancestors, your spiritual team. That's why I get like with this here personally is with the elephants. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy, Pisces, but your your reading in specific was very spiritually charged. So thank you. <laughs> I'm just like sitting here taking it in. I'm just feeling so blessed to even be around this. So I don't even have Pisces in my chart. So let's get into your daily mantra or your weekly mantra here, Pisces. And then I'll leave you on your way. If you enjoy this tarot reading today, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. All right. It really helps me out. And I really appreciate those who take the extra time to do that for me. When I lean on certainty, when I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world that I see. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. Your faith being your spiritual team, when you're, uh, when you lean on certainty, knowing that you are protected, that you are guiding, that you are knowing that whatever it is that you are doing well, I may not give you the current results that you're hoping for. You understand in the long term, you are certain in the long term that is going to be serving to you and your highest good. All right. Get back on to your connection with your spiritual team. When's the last time that you made an offering? When's the last time you meditated with the intent of connecting to them? By repairing that veil, by connecting to them again, you're able to answer that call that you already have been working on. Like, I don't want you to feel as if you're not on the right path or anything, Pisces. But it's just, let's do, let's take out, let's take care of the kinks in the armor. All right, darling. So I love you so much, Pisces. And thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. Hopefully I can connect with you sometime in the near future. Bye, darling.